Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today let's talk upcoming releases for Kamen Rider Geats. So up first we have the Zombie Rays Buckle and Rays Buckle Holder Set that also comes with the Buff A Core ID. So this is kind of the standalone release if you didn't buy the combo set that came out earlier in the month and just bought the Desire Driver on its own back then. You can go ahead and grab this, it's actually out today. So you can pick this up to add it to your collection. Uh, it should be available just about anywhere you buy Toku Toys. To collectibles, HLJ, Amazon Japan, anywhere like that. So, like I said, out today, go ahead and pick it up. So, moving into October, we do have two vinyl figures for the Rider Hero series. First up, we have Common Rider Buffa zombie form. We also get Common Rider Geats zombie form. So, I'll be interested to see how this plays out on the show. I don't know if Geats is going to permanently steal it from him or if he's just going to use it for one episode. Uh, but the fact that the vinyl figure is called Buffa zombie form makes me think that we're going to see some other forms for Buffett in the future. So we'll have to see how that plays out on the show. But if you're interested in adding these two vinyl figures to your collection, they come out on October 1st. All right, so up next, I'm really excited about this one. This is the DX Zombie Breaker. This is the weapon that goes with the zombie rays buckle, very similar to how Magnum gets the Magnum Shooter 40X. And it's a giant chainsaw sword. So this thing is magnificent. It's got this piece in the center that you raise up and down to charge it. It says poison charge, which I thought was kind of interesting because that's the sound that the zombie raise buckle made in the Magnum shooter. So they're going with poison as opposed to just saying zombie, I guess. Uh, but anyway, this thing looks really, really fun. I was looking at it though, and unfortunately I don't think it has anywhere where you can attach raise buckles like the Magnum shooter does, but it's still a giant chainsaw sword, so you really can't go wrong. I'm excited for this one. This comes out October 8th. All right, so next up, we're moving to a duo of storage boxes. First up, we have the Bikiri Mission Box 001 and DX Double Driver Raise Buckle. So Google translated Bikiri to Surprise, so the Surprise Mission Box, I guess. Uh, basically, these are the boxes we see in the show. It's how they find their buckles while they're playing the game. Uh, no foam inserts on these, though. Uh, but it's a nice little storage option for your buckles. You can even hold the driver inside, so you can get a couple of these and stack them up. Um, but this does come with the DX Double Driver Raise Buckle, which looks fantastic. Very similar in stature and design to the other Legend Rider buckles that we've seen, like Revice and Zero One. Uh, and when you pop it on the driver, it does say Cyclone Joker. I assume it's going to play the entire jingle, just like the original Double, double Driver, which is really, really cool. So I'm excited for this, mostly for the buckle, but I do kind of like having little storage options for my toys as well. And this comes out on 1015. Uh, about a week later, on 1022, we're going to get the other one, which is the pink question mark. Uh, let me make sure I get this name right. Hatena Mission Box 002. Hopefully I'm saying that correct. Google Translate didn't have an option for that one, so I'm not 100% sure what Hatena means. Uh, but in any case, it's the second storage box. Uh, no buckle included on this one, so a little bit less exciting, but it is fully compatible with the other one. You can stack them together, the pink and the yellow ones. I believe it's the exact same mold, just in different colors. And they're completely compatible. You can stack them on top, and they're going to have about the same storage capacity because they're pretty much the exact same mold. So lastly, for DX items, we have the DX Spider Phone. And yeah, the name pretty much says it all. It's a phone that transforms into a spider. Uh, it has buttons for sounds. It looks like there's a Desire Grand Prix button on the top for sounds when it's in phone mode. And then there's also a driver button on top. When you transform it into spider mode, it can actually connect to the Desire driver. And then you use the driver button to make sounds while it's connected to the Desire driver. So. Pretty cool, I think it's neat. I always like little phone gimmicks that turn into various things. Definitely getting kind of double vibes from this uh, with the like stag phone and things like that. So kind of channeling that. Uh, but this one looks really fun. This one comes out on October 29th. All right, so shifting up a little bit to action figures, we have the Revel Change Figure Boost Striker Entry Set. Our second release in the Revel Change Figure line. Uh, the bike can transform from bike to fox and back again. Uh, it also comes with a blank half of a figure, which is why they call it the entry set. Uh, this can either be used as the top or bottom half to make combos with other figures. Uh, a little bit later on down the line, we'll probably see another blank half and that way you'll be able to do a full entry form. Uh, but for now, you can kind of mix and match with the first figure in the line, which was Magnum Boost. So if you wanted to have just Magnum or just Boost, you could use this half uh, that comes with this bike. So this is going to come out on October 22nd. 
So real quick, because we're talking about action figures, I wanted to shout out Soto real quick. Uh, the line this year is going to be called ID. So Soto ID 1 is coming out on October 3rd. I don't want to do a deep dive into it because there's a lot to go through. There's a lot of different combinations that are possible. And my good buddy Corey over at Soto Pop did a fantastic video breaking down everything, all the news and possibilities with that. So I say go over. I'm going to put the link to his video in the description here. Head over there and check it out for all the Soto information. I'm definitely excited for this set, so I'll be grabbing that on 10.3. Uh, but yeah, definitely go over there and check out his video for all the Soto information. But it looks great. I'm really excited for it. All right, so this last thing is kind of random. Just popped up out of the blue last night. But we have the DX Kabuto Zector Raze Buckle. So very similar to the other Legend Rider buckles in terms of functionality and design. Of course, it works with the Desire Driver. You can pop it on there. It'll say Cast Off, Change Beetle, which is pretty fantastic. But what's not very fantastic is that this is being bundled with some apparel items, and it's a premium Bandai release. So this is our first premium Bandai release for Geats. Uh, there's going to be about two different ways that you can get this. Uh, you can either get it with one of two shirts. So there's one that's a Geats and Tycoon shirt. And then the other one is a Kabuto and Gatak shirt, which is kind of neat. Uh, now these are Japan sizes, so your mileage may vary. They do go up to about 2XL, so that's a possibility. Uh, but the other thing you can do is you can get these like two felt storage boxes. Uh, they're not the same as the plastic ones that come, you know, out earlier in the month. Uh, these are like made of felt. They kind of look like closed storage hampers to me. I'm going to be honest. I don't know. They look kind of weird. Um, now, Toe Collectibles has all these up for pre-order now. Now, they do look a little pricey, especially if you're like me and you really just want the buckle. I'm not really interested in the shirt or the hampers or whatever these other little storage boxes are. Uh, but I have no idea what these are going to be like on the aftermarket, so I might have to just get whatever the cheapest shirt option is. I'm really not sure. Toe Collectibles has both of these up now for pre-order, and they look to come out in December. But yeah, that'll do it for today's video. A lot of cool stuff coming out. Most of it in October, a couple things a little bit further down the road, but... I'm really excited for a lot of this stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What item from today's video are you most excited about? I honestly can't decide. I think for me, it's kind of like a tie between the DX Zombie Breaker and maybe that Kabuto uh, Rise Buckle. I'm not 100% sure, but they both look like a lot of fun. So again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.